What's the deal? How's everybody doing out there? So of course your boy Valand is back with another video. And in today's video, we're here to talk about composition. A topic that I thought may be boring or overdone, but ever since the 4x3 video, I've seen that some people may find this stuff a little bit interesting. Now composition and composition techniques is an extremely personal subject. So I do want to preference by saying that nothing that I mention or say should be taken as a rule or something that I'm thinking that everybody should be doing. Now, everything that I mentioned are just things that I personally do and the things that I want to see within my work and things that I think make my work more cinematic. I just personally want to share my thought process and how I go about things. And hopefully that inspires somebody to go out and make some videos or photos or whatever the case may be. Now, anybody who knows me and has been here for a while know that I do photography. This channel started as a photography channel. And you guys know that a lot of my photos are inspired by movies and not inspired by movies in a literal sense. But when people look at my photos, I want them to feel like they're looking at a screen grab from a movie. And these techniques that I apply in my photography are the same techniques that I apply to my filmmaking and cinematography too. Cinema photography, I still cannot say that word without sounding like it's not the word. <laughs> now there's a couple things that I look for when composing and looking for compositions that feel the most cinematic for my work. But the first thing that I look for when showing up to a spot and getting ready to, you know, start making videos or start making films or photos or whatever the case may be, the first thing that I look for is my framing. I feel like as humans, our brains are obsessed and we get a little bit of serotonin when we see interesting shapes and we see photos that have interesting shapes and leading lines every single time that i go out i try to do my best to find leading lines especially when i want my subject to be the main focus of what i'm shooting i always try to set my subjects up in a way in which a leading line forces the viewer to pay attention to what the subject it's doing or what the subject is. I do try my best to use the rule of thirds, but mostly I like my subjects being big and bold in the middle, looking directly in the camera with leading lines that drag your eyes directly to the subject. Here and there, I will put my subject off to the side, but I always usually have them look away from the camera if I do this. So the next thing I want to talk about is coloring and lighting. Lighting as talked about in many of my other videos is probably to me for me the most important thing i never ever ever use external lighting and that's not a flex that's not something that i'm saying because i'm super proud of it or anything but i personally for my work and the things that i want to see in my work i never use external lighting i want everything to feel as natural as possible every single one of these videos that's shot in this office is always just shot with sunlight but lighting is so important whether you're using natural light or artificial lighting when we're using artificial lighting we're trying our best to get it to look as natural as possible depending on what you're shooting but for me having somebody look at something and it look as natural as possible to them right off the bat is always the most important thing to me because people can connect with that way easier than they can connect with something that they have no idea what they're looking at or where the light sources are coming from. Or if something just looks like a big mess of lighting, then you tend to immediately write that scene off or write whatever you're looking at off as not pleasing to look at. So I'm very conscious about the colors that I put together in each scene and where the light sources are coming from. So for me, when I'm shooting with people, the clothes that they wear is very, very important to the spot we're going to be shooting in. And I try to do my best to kind of coordinate those colors and that feel with the environment of where we're going to be shooting, because that's super important to me and for my work. And you compare that with lighting. If a scene is supposed to be bright and airy, but it feels cold and dark and closed in, then that's not going to sit well with the viewer. So the next thing is spacing. And I feel like this comes down to the lenses you use and how far something is, how far your lens is from your subject and how far your subject is from what they're doing or the background and foreground. Spacing to me is probably the hardest thing um, within the things that I do are like the most difficult thing and things that takes a little bit more time to think about when I'm out shooting for YouTube or my photos or for whatever I'm shooting for. 
For me, I use wide angle lenses a lot, and that is because I like the space in which a wide angle provides for subject and environment. The subject doesn't seem too big in the environment, but I also don't want my subject to seem too small in their environment either, because to me, no subject, especially a person, um, depending on what I'm shooting is smaller than their environment. But if that's what I'm trying to portray, I would do that the best way that I can. But for me, that takes a lot of conscious effort in thinking about what I want the viewers to feel when looking at these videos or photos. Sometimes when I shoot with a tighter angle lens, it's because I want people to feel like they're fly on a wall watching what's happening or like they're watching it through like a telescope or something like that. And then when I shoot with wider angle lenses, especially closer to my subjects, it feels like you're immersed in what's going on and what's happening. So The Truman Show, one of my favorite movies, I love how wide and open all the shots were. I love how the wide angle film added to the quirkiness of this film, but most importantly, it felt like we were watching Truman because we were. And the lenses that you choose are going to come with their own difficulties. Like, do I take a few steps back to convey what I'm trying to show people? Do I get closer? Do I move a few steps to the left, a few steps to the right? Do I have my subject move back or forward? So spacing is, probably the thing that I deal with the most when it comes to shooting some of these pieces or shooting some of my photos. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, got something out of it. As always, I'm gonna get up out of here. That's gonna wrap it up for me. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button. It would be truly and gratefully appreciated. Um, like the video, sub uh, I already said subscribe, I'm sorry. Leave a comment, all the stuff, you know, YouTubers tell you to do. It's always appreciated. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Let's get up out of here. Ah, can't talk. Let's get up out of here and let's go do some shit, man. You know the vibes. Let's get it.